Hey guys, what's up? It's Iconfly Jake, and today we're going to be discussing how to work uh, the DayZ kind of menus here, um, especially the server browser in particular. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Basically, I've been getting a lot of comments. I wouldn't say a lot. Uh, enough noticeable comments asking about, you know, do more people play on private servers or public servers or official servers or community servers or how do I, what do you mean community servers? Like, is that community made? Blah, blah, blah. Who makes those? So... And also people saying, how do I get into blah server? How do I know if it's experimental? So I thought we'd go ahead and cover all that today in a daisy menu slash server video. So basically, let's start off. If you press play, that's going to bring you to your last known server. Um, whether, let's say you, you know, if you launch daisy, don't just press play every time. If you want to choose a specific server, do not click play and just be like, ooh, is that single player? No, it's not. It brings you to the last server you left off in. Um, character here is where you do character selection. You know, male, female, uh, very dark, dark skin, medium skin. Beige t-shirt, black t-shirt, whatever. Black. I'm going to go with black jeans. And there we go. Hit apply. And hypothetically, a character would show up here with what you just chose. Or the character of, like, with your gear and stuff of what you have in the game. Mine has not been showing up. Um, if your guys' has been showing up, go ahead and leave a comment letting me know it has. Because mine has not showed up for the past couple updates. So, that's that. Um, let's go ahead and, and then if you click change server... This is where the bulk of what we're going to be talking about goes down. So here on the official tab, these are hosted by, uh, you know, companies that Bohemia finds official or whatever they consider that, or they're specifically hosted by Bohemia themselves. So you're going to have very few options. It's basically going to just be, as you can see, you know, Daisy, Illinois, U.S. South Central, uh, just U.K., U.S. Northeast, um, all these random places here on on this area and i guess if you wanted the the best ping for yourself you'd choose a zone um nearest yourself uh but that's that daisy mo blah blah etc etc to be honest though um yeah actually you know we'll cover uh we will cover which of these are the most popular later on in the video if you don't already know this is also where you're going to find experimental updates so um if you go through here we might be able to find one on there today right there daisy 0.62 experimental so, um, all right, where's it at? I don't know. I guess we lost it, but it's 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 on here somewhere, uh, right there. So Daisy point six two experimental um, is actually I don't know. It may just be it may be called that and just not be in use right now because as you can tell, it is in the same server version. So there may not be any experimental servers up currently. Um, I'm looking a bit more. I see one right here. Is this experimental? Let's see here. I don't see it, guys. I don't see it. Anyways, guys. So yeah, if you're ever looking for exper experimental servers, you will find them in this list here. And if you ever notice that a server has a different version than like the green version listed here, don't even try to join it because you will not be able to without switching to the betas, or the not betas, but the uh, experimental versions. So another important step that we'll discuss is collapsing and expanding server details. So let's say you switch over to community here, which is where, to be honest, I currently recommend you playing guys as on community servers, um, because as you can tell, there are one, two, three, four, five in a row servers with a heck no six, seven. I mean, there's tons of servers in a row that are either full or high population. Um, and that's that. If, if we go back to official, you'll see, um, if you press the population button up here, if you click it, it'll trigger that to give you a server recommendation with the highest population or lowest population. And as you can tell, we still do not even have a single server above low pop. Switch to community though, and if we click the population, there we go. As you guys can see, it's pulling up servers with higher populations. Um, if you press the time button, it's gonna give you servers at night first, press it again. Um, well, shoot, it's pulling me down here. Hold on. Night servers, and, well, it looks like that. It's only giving us night servers right now, but it should eventually... It's supposed to give you servers that, like, all night time, and press it again all day time, I believe. So that's that. Um, other thing is ping. You can press ping, and then it'll give you the top community server with a high ping, or low ping, I should say. And then you press it again, it gives you the lowest ping. I don't know why you'd want to join the lowest ping server, but that's that. Um, personally, I like to keep this to using the population button, because... Uh, the best experience you're going to have in DayZ is any server from medium to high, possibly full. Those are the best Those are the best experiences of DayZ. So, like I said, another important step though is expanding and collapsing your server details. So, personally, as soon as I switch to where I'm wanting to look um, and find a cool server, I click expand server details. That way you can figure out, okay, the, day, the time of day is day, it is full, and not only is it you can tell, okay, so if you collapse these and you're scrolling through here, you're like, oh, these are all full, um, let's join DayZ Underground, YOLO, that's a, that's a good one, right? Well, let me just tell you this. If you were to expand it, you'd see that you're going to be in a 15-man queue. Versus if you went to this server right here, Chipotle Bandits, you would probably be first in queue to join it. That's that. So, yeah. And what I mean by queue is, of course, like an SOS-friendly server. If I click Connect, as you can see, guys, we're next in queue, position 2. So, we're going to leave that, though. We don't need to be in queue. We're not wanting to play a game right now. So, that's basically what there all there is um, on this side of the menu. Over here, though, you can check, and you can actually click ping, and then set this to be, I don't want to play on any server with a ping of over 98, and then it's supposed to find servers with under 98 ping. 
um, if we do that. So that's that's that. Although to be honest, I don't know if it works too well because as you guys can see, it's pulling up servers with pings that aren't, you know, what I just put in. But that is the point of that, and one day it will work perfectly, I'm sure. Also, guys, if you're going through here, as you can see, some of these stars have been lit up white. Why is that, you ask? Because those are favorited servers. So if I click favorited over here on this menu here, it will only show, show me servers that I've favorited. Pretty neat. That way, if you have a favorite server that you think you're going to play on a lot, you can go ahead and favorite it so you don't lose it in the list. Because sometimes if you play on like a low pop server or a medium, um, it may be medium one day and the next day a low pop, and then all of a sudden you find yourself scrolling through the millions of servers here and never being able to find the one you wanted to play on. So keep that in mind, guys, when you're searching for a server. Also, friends playing. If you have friends online, you can press this tab and they can, it'll show up here if your friends are on a server. Sad enough for me, I don't have any friends online right now, so cry me a river, right? Uh, battle Eye Protected, these show any servers that have Battle Eye Protection. I guess some servers have the option of turning that off, or at least they will one day. Um, passworded, this, this only shows you locked servers on the list, so you'd have to have a password to join any of these servers. Um, previously played gives you a hi basic history of servers you've played on in the past right there. Um, proper version match, honestly, is n not too useful. Sorry about that, we had a little lag for a second. Um, and ba basically that only shows you servers that aren't in experimental. So that's that. I, there's almost no experimental servers anyways. And then if you for some reason to see only full servers, you can check that button. And then a bunch of full servers are going to start to pop up, as you can see. There we go. Some more popping up. Uh, but yeah, that's that. There's another one. They're just going to keep on popping up. Okay, so then this is where another important thing before we head off. So uh, as you can tell, a lot of people like to play in only third-person mode or only first-person mode or at least have the option of both. Now, you don't want to be choosing a server. Get yourself all hyped to play. Be scrolling through here and be like, oh, let's play an old school hardcore right here. And boom. You didn't read much of it, but as you can tell, if you don't, if you collapse the server info without reading the title of it, you wouldn't know that it's... Well, let, let's find a different example. Uh, like this one right here. Daisy Underground EU. If you were scrolling through the list... Sorry about that, guys. My phone is dinging off. Um, if you're scrolling through the list, you would see Jay-Z join Daisy Underground. And you would just click join, thinking it's your normal, everyday, first-person, third-person server. But if you ex hit expand server details you'll be able to find out that it only has first-person mode enabled. So when you play this game, you can only play it in first-person mo mode on this server. So that's another important detail to make sure you're checking, and if you want to just make it easy on yourself and make sure it has third-person, you can go ahead and check over here at third-person servers, and now you'll only get a list of servers that have third-person allowed. Okay, and then last step is private, public servers versus private servers. So guys, if you want to be able to swap between servers um, with your gear, you need to pay, play on public servers. Like, for instance, Trump's wall, Trump's wall here is honestly the highest public server I'm seeing all the time um, as you can see it's public and if you were to join that get some gear and then later on switch over to right uh, here chaos crew gaming high loot you would you would be able to oh wait actually hold on not that one where's it at where's it at where's it at uh, right here Tardor Tatort Chernaris that server um, if you swapped over to that one you would have the same gear as you had on the Daisy uh, the Trump's wall server now if you plan a private server such as Daisy Underground US you're not going to move, be able to go from this server to Chipotle Bandit and keep your gear. Most people know that, but just in case you didn't, that's good for you to know. And last, lastly, of course, we have Accelerated Time. And if you click that, it'll show you servers that have time that speeds up and so like, as in like a very fast night time. That way you don't have a... That way night time doesn't last forever, but yet you can still experience it. Um, lastly, over here, you can actually type in on the search bar um, a server name. So let's say I wanted to play Daisy RP. I can hit search, and hopefully, yeah, there it is. The server comes up with only servers with that in the title. So, yeah, that's good to do. That's good if you uh, know a server you're wanting to play specifically and you know the name of it. And lastly, if you have the exact IP and port of a server, you can put that in search. So, that's that, guys. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of how to work the Daisy server browsers. If you already knew how to use them, don't be dropping those dislikes because you're like, I already knew this. Don't make a video on it. Um, just know that you yourself are doing pretty good because you know how to work these servers all around. Any of you that didn't know, hope you guys drop a like. And if you guys liked the video, make sure to drop a like. Drop a subscribe as well. And I hope to see all of you in my next video. Yo. Oh.